you can create a job on any device you use GeoOp on. One of the great things about GeoOp is that if you're out in the field and receive a call, you can enter a new job on the smartphone or tablet device. You can even put your smartphone on a speaker while on a call and capture the details into the app straight away. If you've done work for the client before, you can select them from the client list and click on the Create Job button and their details will automatically be inputted. From here, you can also look at all of the jobs done for this client previously, which is a great way to see if this is a recurring issue or if you've previously undertaken work on this issue. From here, you can also choose to SMS the client if you have their cell phone number inputted. Great if you want to communicate that you're on your way. If you want to go straight into adding a job, you can click on the plus button down at the bottom left of the screen and fill out the details. Today, a call has come in from Truxton Property Management that one of their tenants, Auckland University, has a leaking faucet in their education department. We are going to enter this job into GeoOp. We've done some work for Auckland University before, so they're already in the system. We can just select them from the list and their details will be automatically inputted. The job title, we're simply going to put Fix Leaking Faucet. Description, we're going to input Faucet is in back part of a building. Please call John on 021-33-3333 on arrival. The reference is automatically created. The order number. We're going to put something in from Truxton Property Management, TPM00123. Client is where the job is based, so we're going to select Auckland University. Billing is to the property managers, as they are managing the job. The job start and end dates, we're going to leave as a default for now. The priority, we're going to change to high, as this is an urgent job. If we knew the staff member we wanted to assign to that job straight away, we could select them from the list. Or we could leave it as unassigned and go back and edit it and assign it to someone once we've checked on the map where our staff are. It's as simple and easy as that to create a job. On the web console, to add a new job, you can do it from anywhere through the quick links, or you can click on the Add Job button from the right of the screen on the job list screen. Here, you can add in the details just like you did on the iPad. Once you select the client, you can see the map automatically updates with the location. As it is a university with multiple entry points, you can drag and drop the pin to pinpoint the address. Again, here you can add the staff or work group if you know them and select multiple staff members. If they were a new client, you could add them from the Quick Links tab or simply complete the Add New Job form below and when you click Save, the new client will be created. If it's a job you're going to do regularly or is going to be recurring, you can create these from the Job Templates tab at the top of the screen to save you time. You can add new templates by clicking on the Add Template button from the top right or you can go into an existing template and scroll to the bottom and click Copy the Job and then add, delete, or amend any details needed. You can create jobs for clients with particular billing clients as well, like in our example. You can even assign it to a particular work group or staff members if you like. You can add on particular time and parts to the job, and you can even add on any notes or files. We've had businesses add on particular manuals or checklists for jobs, so they're always available for that particular type of job. If this was a recurring job, you could set this up in the Recurrences tab. You can set the particular pattern and date range and create the jobs to save you from inputting them individually.